Hi, Sutamani. How are you today? Glorious day here. Sunny winter's morning. It's about nine o'clock in the morning here. At the golf course. Hi. I wanted to tell you a story about one of the most magical periods of my life that happened nearly 25 years ago now. And it's probably um, nothing new. Um, probably happened to you as well with slight variations <laughs> um, but uh, what happened to me was um, happened over a period of a couple of years I had my own business for about nine years it was a security business and I don't know if you've ever had your own business but it can be very very stressful had about ten employees I worked really hard I was so keen for it to be successful I lived and breathed that business and after about eight years I thought oh my god I'm killing myself <laughs> I've worked so hard and I hadn't had one single holiday that whole time so I thought okay I'm gonna have a holiday and um, a friend of mine who also had a business just down the road she said let's go to Fiji so we said okay let's go my mum heard that we were going she said oh, I'd love to come so I said yeah come you and dad can come and but Dad didn't want to go. So the three of us went, my mum, my friend and me. And we had the most wonderful week. I can vividly remember just about every day that I was there. It was such a difference to what I'd been doing for the previous eight years. Anyway, we went back home, back to work, back to the business, back to slaving away. <laughs> and um, I said to my partner at the time, I, I don't care what happens, I'm having another holiday this year have to I have to for my own sanity and uh, we were having a lot of problems at the time um, in our relationship so uh, booked the holiday again following um, February that was in 1989 and this time I just went with my friend didn't take mum she was busy doing something else so just the two of us went this time Went there, spent another fantastic week, had a wonderful time, and uh, flew over on the Sunday. We're coming back on the Saturday. On the Friday night, I was staying in one hotel on the Coral Coast, Naviti, and uh, we decided, I oh, say, so last night, let's both go out to. We'd heard about this uh, beach disco where they had a little bure, a little hut on the sand on the beach and they just had music playing and people dancing on the beach very relaxed atmosphere so let's go there which was at the hideaway resort just down the road from the Naviti and while we were there um, we were dancing with anybody and everybody whoever asked us we got up and danced with them <laughs> um, anyway this uh, my friend met this American tourist and took a fancy to him and that was her, she was gone <laughs> I didn't see her again that night um, so I was sort of a bit aimless and sort of standing around just having a drink and the next thing this tall Fijian bloke pops up next to me and says can I buy you another drink so I said okay yep yeah, sure so he did and um, had a couple of dances and then we went and sat down on a log. Isn't it funny how when you have these magical experiences you can remember so vividly every detail. They say that when you remember these things that the action of you bringing them back into your consciousness changes them slightly and I'm sure it does and I'm sure that we make them appear even more magical than they were at the time but anyway that's fine I'm, I'm happy to keep this one as a really really magical experience and uh, so we sat on this log and uh, got chatting about music and uh, he's a very keen musician at the time he was singing in a local band and we were talking about musicians and we got talking about Lionel Richie who was really really big in the 1980s of course so the guy said well I'll sing you a couple of songs so he did he sang me three songs and that was it I was gone <laughs> so the next morning um, said farewell and flew back to Australia absolutely broken-hearted of course that I had to leave this gorgeous fellow behind but anyway we kept in touch on the phone so I thought bugger this and um, came back 
And I said, right, I um, told all of my people at work I'm, I'm off for another week. So flew back a week later, spent a week. There he is. So um, then we, um, I came back to Australia, sorted out all of my business, left it in other people's hands, took some cash out of the bank and went back to Fiji. I don't know if you know, but um, very difficult for Fijians to get visas to anywhere. It's sort of blacklisted, why I'll never know, but anyway. And um, so... Uh, I thought, right, I'm going to stay in Fiji until I can organise a visa for him to come to Australia. So flew back and stayed five months. <laughs> took five months for us to get a visa. And uh, when David Wood says, think of something magical in your life and um, bring it to the fore in your mind to make you feel alive and positive and how your life can change suddenly by just making one decision... That's probably one of the biggest decisions I made in my life was to um, bring my husband Frank, my current husband Frank, to Australia in 89. That just changed my life completely, com absolutely so much so because um, along with Frank comes a massive family. <laughs> He's the youngest of nine and um, he also has uh, had three sons from his first marriage and a daughter who we didn't meet until she was 20 but that's another story I'll tell you that another time <laughs> and maybe one of the other magical really magical things is something that's happening to me right now with the Empower Network um, it's encouraging me to record all of these life-changing experiences that I've had and we all experience them sometimes in sometime in our lives where we just make a, a decision and sometimes you think oh can I do it can't I I was really double-minded about about throwing away my business throwing away what I'd worked for for 20 odd years I threw it all away I really literally did threw it away for something quite different and challenging and unexpected you can do the same find one of the links around here click on it and have a look just have a look see if you're ready to change your life see you next time